Hello and welcome back once again. In this video segment, I'm going to spot drill the four 3816 UNC holes with a half inch spot drill. I'll spot drill to depth by using the depth calculator function to leave a half inch countersink. So let's get started. I'm going to move into toolpaths and number two on the list here drill toolpaths. So I'm prompted to select points. Hit escape when finished. So what I'm going to do is move on down and as you can see as I get to the center of this circle the visual cue for center pops up. So I'm going to pick this point here I'm just going to drop down to the lower left corner and as you can see there's that visual cue for center. I'm going to grab it and then just slide it over for our third hole. I'm going to pick this one there's that visual cue again and then our last one in the top right corner there's a visual cue for center of this arc, I'm going to pick it, and we're all done. So look, moving over to the left hand side, I'm going to click on the OK button in the drill point selection. Now here we are on the toolpath type page with drill set. Let's move on over to the tool page, and what we're after is a half inch spot drill. So just down below, I'm going to click on select library tool, and I'm just going to scroll down and find myself a half inch spot drill. And there it is, half inch spot drill. I'm going to click on OK. So this is tool number three, offset number three. Now for the feed rate, I'm going to change this to seven inches a minute. The spindle speed, 2000. And all is looking good here. So feed rate is seven, spindle speed, 2000. Let's go check out cut parameters. Now we're just going to leave it set to drill countable. So we're looking good here. Next up, let's go alter the linking parameters. So starting at the top, going to activate clearance. Going to leave it set to two inches. And as you can see, it's set to absolute. Also going to activate use clearance only at the start and end of operation. Now just down below the retract, going to set that to absolute but point 0.1 is no good to us I'm going to change that to 0 0.6 now Z0 is the bottom of the part now the top of stock I'm going to change that to 0 0.325 looking good down below the depth I'm going to activate absolute now you can see we've got 0 0.325 but what I'm going to be doing is we need to put a countersink on this hole. So I'm going to use the depth calculator. So I'm going to click on it. Now over on the left what I'm going to do is change the finish diameter to 0 0.4375. Now that's the hole diameter 0 0.38 plus a sixteenth of an inch. So you can use the depth calculator to calculate the proper drilling depth when the finish diameter of the hole is different from the drill diameter. For example, in this case, we're countersinking a hole. Now, I'm going to choose overwrite depth, and what that'll do is replace the existing depth values on the parameter page. So when I click on OK, you can see the depth now is set to 0 0.10625. So we're looking good. Let's go check out the coolant situation and I'm going to turn that to on. Now we're done here, going to click on OK and that's our spot drilling operation complete. Now that also completes this video. Thanks so much for watching and 